my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Wow! Can you dig it? Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I've got a swinging 60s spy flick. It is Phil Carlson's 1966 class act flick. It is The Silencers. Now this is a fabulous Dean Martin starring flick, so I don't even want to waste any more time. Let's get right into the goodness. Here is The Silencers. The Silencers is a sensational swinging secret agent flick featuring the legendary crooner Dean Martin in the lead spy role. Absolutely enjoyable and impossibly entertaining, this spy adventure gives us unparalleled amounts of 60s style along with a bevy of beautiful women that literally soak up the screen in sexy flair. Completely cool and nostalgic to boot, the Silencers is a perfect example on how fun the 60s super spy genre can be. The film follows ex-secret agent Matt Helm as he is pulled out of retirement to take on the abominable Big O organization, an evil group who plans to doom the world with their villainous plan dubbed Operation Fallout. As Big O hopes to trigger World War III through their actions, Matt Helm sets off on a series of adventures along with his sexy ex-partner Tina in order to bring the diabolical organization down. Rat Pack alum Dean Martin takes on the spectacular role of super spy Matt Helm, an agent for the espionage organization ICE, while also moonlighting as a swinging model photographer on his free time. Totally cool and extremely charismatic, Martin pretty much plays himself as he takes on the bad guys and wins the hearts of countless beautiful femme fatales. With tongue-in-cheek humor firmly in place, Dino whimsically encapsulates the outstanding fun to be had in this retro romp, and his carefree approach to the character is essentially addicting. Lost in a haze of nostalgic style and an outrageous visual palette, Dean Martin gels perfectly with the visionary grooviness of the picture, and his charisma helps push the film into entertaining territory and pure unabashed amusement. Accompanying Dean Martin in this wacky espionage-filled world is a bevy of beauties that definitely bring the eye candy to the picture. Sid Cheris, Stella Stevens, Nancy Kovac, and Dahlia Lavi all bring their A-game, with both Lavi and Stevens getting especially large roles within the story of the film. For me, the best of the bunch is Stella Stevens, as Gail Hendricks, the super klutzy yet extremely alluring young woman who gets tangled up in Matt Helm's assignment to bring down Big O. Looking absolutely stunning and ridiculously titillating, Stevens demands your attention, and in the silencers, she genuinely steals the film in every scene that she appears in. When it comes to insanely beautiful women, the Matt Helm series of films really delivers the goods, and the silencers definitely is the cream of the crop. Aside from the female cast of the film, the production is lavishly dressed with outstanding sets interesting outside locations and one hell of a devilishly ludicrous madman in the form of Victor Buono as the evil Tung Z. Buono fits right in with the camp flavor of the picture, and his elaborate lair and ultimately supercharged villainous persona is a real wacky treat for fans of the genre. Spanning from ritzy nightclubs to swanky poolside cabanas, to Tung Z's sinister stronghold and to Matt Helm's ultra-swinging psychedelic bachelor pad, the film has the bountiful goods that pay off visually. Helm's swinging pad is especially luxuriant, filled with an elaborate bar and a circle bed used to gently tip Matt and any lucky lady into his oversized hot tub. It's excessive to say the least, but wholly entertaining in that ludicrous and outlandish sort of way. Add on top of that the inventive gadgets and weapons that Helm has in his arsenal, and you've got yourself one insanely fun flick that never holds back on the absurd and goes full force into wild genre fare. Needless to say, the film is just too much fun to handle. The Silencers is wildly out of control and wholly adept at generating a fantastically fun atmosphere and literally maintaining it for its entire runtime. From beginning to end, Dean Martin and crew just have a blast with the over-the-top proceedings, making you get swept up into the adventure with reckless abandon. 
The cast across the board melt perfectly with the style of the film, and the overall look of the production is top-notch retro and especially magnificent in capturing this groovy cinema world in all its lavish glory. If you are searching for a film series that puts fun and entertainment at the top of its list, then look no further because the Matt Helm series has what you need. With this particular entry in the series, we are introduced in expert fashion to the wacky elements of this espionage-filled fictional realm, and it is nothing less than fantastic. The Silencers is one hell of a swinging good spy time. And guys, that is the wacky retro The Silencers, the first in the Matt Helm series and one of Dean Martin's most enjoyable films. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that review and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then guys, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.